good uh, morning to you and the viewers. I think the association has been clear that uh, racism is a serious thing which we don't take lightly. It is there in our mission statement that the association will not tolerate any form of racism. So we, we our stance has always been for as long as uh, Luke is not cleared for the allegations uh, which uh, deals with serious uh, <coughs> conduct of racism, he will not be allowed to coach. And as the association, we are taking it further. We will be writing to the Department of Home Affairs to say he must not be granted a permit. We will also write to the league to just uh, tell them our stance when it comes to this, because racism is serious and we cannot in any way undertone it. Have you uh, taken the club into confidence uh, as to what your intentions are? If so, what has been their response? Look, uh, yesterday when uh, the announcement was made, unfortunately it was just made, uh, it caught all of us by surprise. And of course, the owner of the club then went over to one radio station and his comments there left much to be desired. We think and believe that he had brought the name of the association into disrepute, but we will be writing to the league so that uh, the league can take action, but failure for them to take an action. We as the association will then have to uh, look at our regulation and throw the book at him because what he had said uh, there on the radio yesterday, it has also further brought uh, the association into disrepute. Advocate Mutlante, is there any provision in the SAFA statutes for such a matter? I know it's an, uh, uh, maybe a, uni a unique issue, but is there any provision for such, or is it a purely a moral argument uh, from the side of the association? Look, from the side of the association, first in our uh, mission statement, in our objectives, we are clear on the question of racism. It's not just a moral thing. It is there in the constitution to say the association will not subscribe to any form of uh, racism, any form of tribalism. It does not uh, uh, subscribe to any political parties. That's why even if one of the leaders goes and make comment against uh, politics, we don't say, no, it is not there. It is there in the constitution. So racism is taken seriously. That's why it had to be put in our preamble that we will not tolerate that. What happens then if uh, he is granted a, a work permit in the event that it is uh, it goes against you? Is there any form of repercussions that the club might face from the association as the mother body, the governing body of football in South Africa? Mr. Lishuru, as the association, we, we have decided that uh, this matter must be uh, reported to both our ethics committee and uh, the FIFA ethics committee for a decision to be taken. And you know, once uh, the decision is taken at that late, uh, at that stage, it becomes a judicial one. And we would have warned the team not to use him. And if he's found guilty of this serious offense, of course, we'll look at uh, the games where he has coached. But currently we are entertaining, giving him a fair hearing and get uh, uh, the different independent bodies to look at his conduct. So it, it, we might get to a point if the, the ethics committee of SAFA or any judiciary committee that's put together, if they do find him guilty and the club has uh, used his services in games in uh, the current season, Chipak might be docked points and uh, possibly find themselves relegated from uh, the Premier Division in South Africa. Look, I think currently it will be like prejudging it. It will be premature to say that. But uh, the least we're going to do as the association is to inform uh, Chipa that we have uh, reported uh, this matter uh, to independent bodies who must then uh, make a determination. But uh, he should know that uh, using him also is not ideal for him because uh, for them as a club, because this man, we as uh, South African, we are coming from a painful past where people used to be segregated around the racial lines and we, we, we will not allow uh, these wounds to be reopened. All right. Uh, lastly, uh, Advocate Mutlante, how important is it for the association to not only act against racism, but to be seen uh, to act uh, uh, against racism with the world now 
uh, up in arms. There's the Black Lives Matter movement that's been heavily supported, uh, particularly in the world of football, with players around the world taking a knee before games. Look, we, we have done that as the association. We have also came uh, in support of Black Lives Matter. And you, you will note that even uh, worldwide, as you say, FIFA had said uh, the issues of racism are no longer going to just be match suspension. People will be made, clubs will be made to appear before the DC so that uh, right sanctions can be taken. So it shows you how the world is dealing with this. So as the association, we are condemning any form of racism and we will continuously act and speak out against any form of racism in this, uh, in, in this sport. All right, Advocate Tebuho Motlante, CEO of the South African Football Association, thank you so much for your time this morning. Yeah, make of that what you will, and uh, maybe Chipper United might find themselves in trouble should they use the services of uh, Luke Emel.